Come on in, Christian. Let's go for a ride. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Davis Auto Sales in Richmond, Virginia. We've had a lot of people ask for a driving video or a running video of this 78 GMC. I get fouled up a lot of times when I say GMC 25 versus the K20 that I want to say, but this truck is a really good driving truck. We've kind of done our finishing touches to the point we're happy with it, and we've brought you guys a lot of content. But I did want to give this one a driving video, just so you can see it going down the road. It's not obnoxiously loud. If I roll the window up, actually, it's not a lot of wind noise. It's a tight truck. Gauges all work properly. Truck holds good oil pressure. The only thing I can really say is, you know, we didn't make this into a $50,000 truck. We can, but time's just not permitting right this second. This is an air conditioned cruise control, three quarter ton, 203 transfer case, small block Chevrolet truck. Two tone, the paint has been redone. It's an older repaint, but it has been redone. Headliner, seat, carpet looks great. Everything is very era correct on this truck. Even has the racetrack trim on the outside. It has a new four inch lift, so it drives a little better than it did with the old bushings and everything. So it's got new springs, new bushings, new shocks. And uh, really it's just an all around good truck. It's a windy day, so it's blowing us around a little bit, but we're tracking down the road at 45 miles an hour. Speedometer is actually pretty accurate. Um, getting ready to pass the off-road shop right now. Actually a couple square bodies out there. Look over there real quick, Christian. One of our favorites, that red crew cab, just getting finished up for a customer, and a few other little trophies in there we haven't talked about yet. We'll get to that. But like we've talked about in Square Body School, 78 is the old school front end, round headlight, full hood, up and down light on the uh, fender. The front clip's completely different. This truck's got some really nice door panels. I actually wish I had these in my personal truck. Really nice scrolling. This truck could have had power windows and power locks. This would have been one of the first years when they introduced that. Uh, underneath this truck, the exhaust is very simple. We left everything as alone as we could, which is hard for us to do. We really wanted the truck to stand for itself, and it does. It's not rusty. There's no cancer in the floor pans. Uh, the rocker panels are great. It doesn't appear to have had any putty put in it. Um, you know, there's a few little pimples across the clear coat or the paint, and there's, you know, there's imperfections. It's not perfect, but this truck, to be a driver like this, like I patted the gas one time, I pulled it out of the shop. That's a cold startup. We're just now starting to get engine temperature. Um, the air condition, as far as I know, it's, it's blowing cooler air, but I don't think it's charged right. Um, matter of fact, I believe my guy said it may even need a belt on the compressor, but... Um, We've done our mechanical going over. We've changed the oil. It does have a couple drips, like we've said. So if you're parking in a nice garage, you're going to have a couple drips on your floor. Uh, again, this truck is 29 grand. It is not perfect. It's not going to be perfect. You can't buy perfect for this price point. Um, if somebody wanted to do a drivetrain rebuild, perfect. But this truck would also be great for a Cummins conversion, like we do have one for sale right now. It'd also be great for an LS conversion. We have one of those for sale right now. Uh, you could do a Duramax conversion. Daniel's working on one of those for himself right now. Um, you could do whatever you wanted to do, or you could just leave it alone. It does not do anything wrong. Just made a U-turn like it's supposed to be. The steering wheel could be tweaked a little bit after the lift kit. That's probably not completely lined up. You can see it's a little off. Um, it doesn't have crossover steering. It could. There's things that could be done to improve upon the truck, but again, it grows the price point. We wanted to keep this one as affordable as possible. And I will tell you, for the 30 grand and under price point, we have not had a square body that is this nice recently. Uh, years ago, yes, times are different. They're not coming back. If you're gonna wait for a deal on a square body, it's not gonna happen. So don't pretend that it is, it's just not gonna happen. Uh, but for running, driving, operating three quarter ton, really good looking two-tone truck, nice error correct tires and wheels. If you do wanna do a tire and wheel change, that's easy, we can knock that out right away. Uh, but getting into like power steps, the other additional things that people like to come to us for, we just don't have the time right now. Um, the shop is pretty booked up uh, with some pretty extreme projects. Um, 
The other videos you've already seen it, one little dash crack. We could have that hidden, but we didn't. We left it alone. It's the only crack in the dash, and that's an original dash. All the paint on the inside of this truck is original. The dual fuel tank switch works. Both tanks do operate uh, currently. They could break at any minute, but they do work now. Um, it's even got the package straight behind the seat with the cardboard from original. It's got some whatever audio box speakers back there and you know an error correct style radio but a crappy one so it needs an upgrade there bluetooth uh new generation style radio would be great it'll still look this way but it'll be bluetooth with all the other features so guys that ask about a video and we're getting it on it you know pretty good here passing traffic zooming up this hill truck's got plenty of power it's not smoking one bit out of the tailpipes Motor's not rattling. And we just hit about 60. We'll slow down a little bit for this little stretch of road. But hits the highway just fine, hits the road just fine, tracks just fine. You can drive it in traffic. It's not going to overheat. Like I said, now we've got engine temperature and it's running just like it's supposed to. Uh, about 35 pounds of oil pressure. Everything's doing what it's supposed to do. So again, guys, this is a truck to look at. If you're really interested, we'll do some detailed pictures and videos for you, but we should have plenty now on the channel. Uh, this should be a truck you should be able to buy sight unseen with extreme comfort. Check out under the, you know, the hood, the nice reflection right now, the silver you can see through there. Um, the paint actually looks really good. Now, there, like I said, there's some imperfections, but it looks great. It's not original. It is a repaint, but thank you guys. Richmond, Virginia, Davis Auto Sales, here on historic Route 1 in uh, North Chesterfield. Davis drives on YouTube, above average trucks, Davis Water Sports, you name it. But here's a cool 78 GMC that is up for grabs. I can drive it with my hands off the steering wheel. You can't do that very often in one of these trucks, that's for sure. And it'll go right on down the road just like it's supposed to. So thank you guys. Stay tuned for more content.